Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble my 3D printed Nino actuator. You can get the files down below. Links are, in the, links are in the description. In addition to the 3D printed parts, you're also going to need 12 1 8 by a half machine screws, 6 1 8 by 3 quarter machine screws, and 2 1 8 by 1 machine screws, and a small washer. You also need a 5 16 steel threaded rod in a length of four and three quarters as well as two corresponding nuts and one of these small geared yellow hobby motors. To start off with you're going to be making the piston. You're going to take the two piston pieces right here, and you're going to slide in two bolts down on the bottom. And just slide those in just like that. And then you're going to take the next piece and just put it on top. And then you're going to take your 1 8 by 1 half screws and put them in all 10 holes. There you have the piston fully set up. So the next step is to set the threaded rod. So you're going to take one of your threaded rod and you're going to have to cut or file a notch in the side of it. You're going to take your hub piece and there's going to be a screw hole and that has to line up with the notch of the threaded rod and just want to screw that in. So there you have it. It should be a little bit loose so it can fix any inaccuracies in the piston itself. Next you're going to take your threaded rod assembly and slide on the gear with the square hole top and put uh, and put the washer and the nut through everything just like that next you're going to assemble the outer shell of the piston so you're going to take your threaded rod assembly and lay it on top of the piston outer shell And take the next piece and lay it on top. Then you're going to screw in your 1 8 by 3 quarter screws in the bottom 6 holes. So here's the outer shell fully assembled. The top 2 holes is going to be where we mount the motor. So now we're going to assemble the motor assembly. So first you're going to take the gear and attach it to the, one of these small motors. Just like that. Then you're going to take uh, the bracket, put the two 1 8 by 1 inch screws through them. Put it around the motor, like that. Slide on the spacer. Then grab your piston outer shell and screw it on the two holes, make making sure the gears line up. So here's the linear actuator fully assembled. As you can see, it's kind of slow, but the force output is actually more than I was expecting, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm using four AA batteries, so about six volts in total. And if you want more force output, you can always add a second motor on the other side. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Check out the other videos on my channel. Consider subscribing. I will see you next time. Bye.